Hello and welcome to my first audio review of a Linux distribution. This Linux distribution is called Ojuba Linux and is a heavily Islamic Arabic themed distribution based on Fedora Linux. Now let's take a look here at the desktop. You see that we have a nice wallpaper some Arabic which says Urjuba Linux and on the desktop we have the icon for installation we have a shortcut to, uh, to a file and then we have the computer icon we're on a live, we're on, we're on, this shows here that we're on a live um, account and that the OS has not been installed this applet here shows the date, time, and the temperature or the forecast, weather forecast and stuff for your area. Very good app. Here this shows the, the PC usage or the processor usage. Icon for your, if you're using a laptop, for your battery consumption icon for network bluetooth audio or volume control this right here is for your keyboard display whether you're using uh, a US format or US uh, display for the keyboard or you can switch to Arabic show you that Write something in Arabic here, so you can see the Arabic works. There you go. And then we can switch it back to English USA. And there you go. Okay. We also have this program here, which brings up a supplication. Uh, either from the Quran or from uh, a narration like La ilaha illallah wahdahu la sharika lahu al-mulk wa lahu al-hamd wa huwa ala kulli shay'in qadir and so forth this here is for the Islamic calendar shows you the current day, time, month, year this is for the prayer times because they're in five minutes, the Doha is going to come in, which I think is about right. And what I like about this as well is that they have this icon here, which brings you to the control center. The control center looks pretty good to me. It's in all Arabic, but uh, for those people who do not speak Arabic, they do have an option for English for this uh, for installation and also for uh, the desktop experience this is places and now we go to applications we have these applications for administrator or administrative work you know, formatting uh, hard drives and uh, so for installation using the terminal backup system backup and so forth they have a huge selection of games here logic and puzzle games and what they call arcade games they have two arcade games here for the internet of course the default browser web browser is firefox um, also they have a twitter client here they also have something for downloading they also have empathy and empathy is a um, Is a program for for multi or what you call multi account from for for example if you have a Google account, a uh, Yahoo account, Win uh, Windows Live account like it says here, for all of these different uh, programs or different accounts that you might have, you can put them all in here, and and so forth. and so on yep 
So all those are available there for you. It's pretty good. Okay, so that's pretty much it for the internet. They have uh, they also have a um, a P2P device here called um, Transmission, which you can use to download torrents. Now they do have a special category here for Islamic software, and if you see here, they have two programs already uh, present. One is Tawab, and one is the Ruthman Mushaf. Let's open up Thawab here. <coughs> now Thawab, <coughs> excuse me. Now Thawab here, it comes with uh, a small selection of books already installed to the program, but they're not usable unless you index them. So you have to open up this program, that's, uh, or this uh, put uh, press on this tab. It says Fahras, or Fahrasa, and then click on that and it will start loading the books and indexing the books that it has and then we're going to show you how to use that program in a second let me see what else does this has oh it also comes with the new uh, photo manager called Inkwell off one I mean uh, Shotwell we're going to open that up as well and we're going to see if we can uh, use that to import put some uh, pictures here got more the pictures here on this thing Okay, so you see there's a lot of tons of pictures in this folder, so we'll just add. Um, and it's important, it's important the pictures. No problem there, but nothing to worry about. You can choose to a slideshow. Hope this doesn't mess up anything. And we can exit that. We're still good. Yes, we are. This is nice. I wanted to install a program. Uh, while we're waiting, but not gonna do that. Okay, so my first thought about this uh, distribution is this: overall, it's it, for it's very it's very good for uh, your Muslim or or your Arab your Arab using um, computer using. Um, person or user but the problem with this is it doesn't come with a lot of things for maybe um, someone who's doing uh, office work for example like you see here in the um, in the office application there's nothing there really you know and I think and I thought that they could have done a good job by getting rid of a lot for example a lot of the games and uh, maybe putting a smaller browser in to make room for maybe open office or IB word or so forth uh, the installation um, is also not very intuitive I did meet some problems uh, uh, with the installation when I did try to install this um, user interface is okay not the best that I've seen and uh, but it comes with great programs pre-installed and that's one of the benefits of this. In fact, let's look at this. Uh, let's look at uh, the web again. Here, type in something here. Is it in Arabic? Change to Arabic. Okay, in the 
fit in the jet Okay, let's see if we get in, get some. And there we go. I typed in inna fil jasad and we have in Arba'een and Nawawiya a hadith, the sixth hadith that has that in there. The hadith of Al Nu'man ibn Bashir. It's inna fil jasadi mudha. And that's that. So out of five, I would give this a, a, a three and a half or three point five. Um, hopefully, uh, throughout or through time, this distribution will get better. And that's all I have to say. Subscribe, also subscribe, thumbs up if you like the video. And I'll try to come out with a lot more in the future. Bye.